What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I'm going to show you the Kali Linux 2019.4. This is the latest release from Kali Linux and it's great. This is one of the best releases so far. And I'm going to show you some of the new features including the Windows Undercover mode and which I think is really great. With the Undercover mode, you can switch the look of Kali Linux to look like Windows. And I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. But before we start, I just wanted to highlight that uh, the first feature that I'll be highlighting is the fact that it's now more lightweight. This is so lightweight, it's using XFCE, which is way better than the normal norm. So this one is running in my VMware and I mean, this is very fast. And as you can see, I'm running top here. It's not taking any resources really from my machine right now. So the best feature so far is that they actually now integrated by default the environment, desktop environment to be XFCE, which I think is great. Because before you had the option to download XFCE, but now it comes right off the box. And then you can choose the norm if you want, but this is also great. So after, other than that, there's a new theme. It's so slick looking. I mean, everything looks so modern now. And as you can see here, we still have all the tools that we know and love in Kali Linux, but everything right now looks really, really great. So that's the second feature is that uh, the theme actually has changed and you can switch between multiple themes uh, in Kali Linux, but so far even the default one that you can see here, it's really great. You can change this to be darker or uh, lighter, these four different or six others that you can use. Then uh, the other feature that I cannot demonstrate is that um, the, you can now have uh, public packaging. So you can package your own applications that you like in Kali Linux, which I think is really great. So if you package your own personal applications, uh, you can even suggest to the team for Kali Linux for them to integrate them in the next updates. So that's really good as well. So that's something that um, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy and love to use about this new Kali Linux installation. Next feature that I wanted to talk about is the documentation. I mean, the documentation for the Kali Linux environment has also been updated. So you can document Kali, you can actually contribute to some of the documentation, which I think is really great. So if you are someone who likes to read documentation and understand how things work, this is actually going to be really good for you. And you can actually uh, contribute to the documentation for Kali Linux as well. Then uh, the final feature that made me so excited to even make this video is this feature called undercover mode. So the way that this works is you can just go here and if you start type, typing uh, Kali desktop undercover mode, you can just click and all of a sudden it will transform the look and feel for Kali into a Windows environment. So if you are uh, say working on an engagement and you don't want people to suspect that you're doing something malicious, you can just turn into this environment. And what this does is it makes it everything look and to someone as if it's a Windows machine. But if you start uh, browsing, you realize that actually it's a Kali machine as you can see. We don't have the C drives on and all that stuff, but it feels, looks and actually functions like a Windows machine. You can still have your terminal here and run all the applications as usual. So this is one of the best features so far. And I think it's really great. And from here, let's go to the home page. Look at this. This looks like a Windows machine, but all of our tools are now over here listed. And you can scroll down. We even have Office uh, installation over here. So this is really, really good. Um, Let's see what the text editor looks like. So as you can see, the default text editor is not the one that is in Windows. So anyone who just looks over your shoulder will think that you're actually just working on a normal Windows 10 machine, which I believe is really great. Look at this. I think I'm going to be using some of these features myself, especially the undercover mode. And if you want to go back, you can just do Kali undercover mode and Voila, you're now back to your desktop. So these are the great features that I found. And the fact that they even open source their documentation and now they have public packaging uh, is really great. The final feature that I wanted to uh, highlight to you is PowerShell. 
I believe PowerShell is it's really great. So let's go ahead and um, I think it's PWSH and voila. I can now run PowerShell commands straight from here without even um, worrying about Kali working. This came uh, because Microsoft open sourced a PowerShell and now we can have PowerShell in Kali. So this is really great guys. I'm actually excited. I will be making more videos uh, of myself using this specific distro and uh, attacking machines on Hack the Box. So if you like this type of material, if you like to learn about IT security or IT in general, consider liking this video and subscribing. Otherwise, these are the few features that I wanted to highlight. I will link the, to the documentation for a list of full features that they released, but this is so far the greatest and subscribe and like, otherwise I'll be seeing you in the next video.